Hey guys, Anthony here with a review on Firefox 58, which was released on January 23rd, 2018. It is the first major browser update in 2018 since Mozilla released its all new Firefox Quantum in November 2017. If you haven't yet, you can check this video review. Overall, Firefox Quantum has worked well for me based on my own experience using it. Apart from a few browser crashes, specifically on Facebook, and I've had no crashes since updating to Firefox 58. So let me share some of the key changes implemented in Firefox 58. First of all, there have been several fixes to security vulnerabilities, and this includes security measures countering Spectre and Meltdown, which I'm sure you've already heard a lot about. In terms of performance improvements, Mozilla has improved rendering of graphics for Windows users by using off main thread painting or OMTP, which more efficiently paints your screen using a dedicated CPU thread. Firefox engineers created a test that simulates running heavy JavaScript. While running this test, Firefox's frame rate improved by 30%. To learn more about OMTP, you can check David Anderson's blog post. You'll find the link in the description section. Another performance improvement is JavaScript startup bytecode cache or JSBC, which is an optimization made to improve the time to fully load a web page. Here is a graph with the average time between the start of navigation and when the onload event for each website is fired with and without JSBC. Based on tests run by Mozilla with JSBC enabled, web pages load 43 milliseconds faster on average. Tracking protection was already available for Firefox users in private browsing mode. Mozilla now offers an option for tracking protection all the time under privacy and security. Apart from privacy protection, tracking protection also contributes to faster page loading. Here are some stats from Mozilla comparing Firefox Quantum with and without tracking protection, and also how it compares to Google Chrome. There are a couple of improvements in Firefox screenshots, which is a really useful feature. You can now take screenshots in private browsing mode. So here I am in private browsing. And if you click the screenshots button in the address bar, you can take a screenshot and save it or download it. Additionally, you can now copy it to the clipboard using this button below. If you'd like to learn more about Firefox screenshots, check this tutorial. Well, these were some of the notable changes in Firefox 58. You can check the list of detailed changes in the release notes. You'll find the link in the description section. As always, I ran a BrowserMark benchmark test. Overall, Firefox Quantum has performed much better than early versions of Firefox. Having said so, Google Chrome continues to outperform Firefox. Well, that's it for now. Until next time, thanks for watching.